we start the meeting, since we now have a quorum, with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United, the United States of America, America. and to, to the Republic, uh, Republic, Republic for which it stands, stands one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the minutes of the <laughs> August 3rd, 2020 meeting of the Planning Commission. Is it, well, does anybody have any edits, corrections, changes, additions to the uh, minutes of that meeting? If not, I would appreciate it very much since Charlie is no longer a member. Uh, <laughs> if somebody would second, I uh, would make a motion. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the August 3rd meeting. I second. Uh, we have, we have, it's approved. It's approved. Aye. Thank you, Megan. Okay, so let's just skip to items uh, three and four on the agenda uh, before we actually had the, the quorum set up and now think you necessarily have to put this into the minutes. Uh, we have, um, we had some general discussions about this. So let me bring everybody up to speed. The first item, the ordinance, the only change to the ordinance, first off, let me say, uh, I'll have to repeat myself, but I'm sorry. Uh, this ordinance has, uh, which is just for the record, an ordinance of Radnor Township, uh, amending the township zoning ordinance to allow townhome developments in certain areas of the C3 service commercial district and to provide regulations therefore. Now, I don't remember the exact date, but I certainly do recall that uh, the Planning Commission uh, reviewed this ordinance extensively and made extensive uh, comments, suggestions, changes, additions, et cetera. All of these changes, all of these additions, corrections, et cetera, were in fact made to this proposed ordinance. The only, the only uh, addition to this proposed ordinance appears on uh, under heading 280-56, area and height regulations, capital A, number one in friends, under minimum lot area per dwelling unit, 3,250 square feet, under front yard or front existing curb line, uh, it says now from existing curb line is 25 feet. So the distance hasn't changed, but the word existing has been inserted in order to clarify uh, where um, where the parking can be and to clarify and make uh, make the parking safer and uh, and better uh, in that particular area that's the only change my so, uh, I'm sorry so well, I'm sorry um, so what is the issue with the by by having the word existing versus not existing What's in your opinion? It, it keeps it just people can't play games with the uh, curb line. In other words, they've got to adhere to what the curb line, curb line presently is. And if somebody would like to jump in and give her a better explanation than that, please do so. Staff? Uh, I, can, I can try to address that. Um, in, in this specific case, in this plan that was, was put forth uh, parallel with this ordinance, uh, again, I had mentioned earlier, they satisfy the parking requirements on the site as any applicant that has the area could satisfy the parking requirements on the site and not put parking on the street like the like this applicant is planning and they could hold that existing curb line and they could still build the plan you just wouldn't get the parking in the street what this benefit does in this case uh, which is advantageous i believe to the townships and the residents in the area is they get their 25 feet measured from the existing curb line and then they can move that curb line back to a proposed curb line to allow parking on the frontage of their property without that parking encroaching into the travel lane, which it does now. And it, it, that's, that would be the only change to the plan that was put forth in front of you because you would, they wouldn't have to do that 
and they could still build the same thing that they're building right now. You just wouldn't get parking for the residents in the area. Right, and that's, jump in just, on the parking is public parking. Yes. It is not specific to the townhouses. It is on street public parking. So if you measure back from the new curb, that affects the development. If you measure from the old curb, to quote Roger, they build what they proposed and the neighborhood gets some uh, sorely needed on street parking. And if you so had a situation, be, and if you had to a, be clear, is it's parallel parking? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and not not to be specific to this plan, but if somewhere else they were applying this zoning, and the street was wide enough to accept on street parking, now they would still be twenty five feet from whatever that existing curb line is. It wouldn't be an arbitrary line. It's it's what existing clears it up. Any other, any other questions or comments from the members of the Planning Commission? I believe uh, we might have some members of the public that have tuned in. Am I correct about that? So I'm going to ask if any any members of the public. This is nine. This I don't. So I'm asking about members of the public. If any members of the public here? I guess nine. Can I hear? I have a motion to recommend to the uh, commissioners that this ordinance be approved as drafted with that change of the addition of the word existing. Sure. I'll, I move that we uh, accept the word existing. Um, I'm not sure what, what rule, what this in this uh, it's in article 13 of the C3 service commercial district. Second. I, second, I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's approved unanimously. Now the next item on the agenda is the zoning relief to convert office retail use the residential in C2. Uh, it's a really interesting property. I'm glad it's the zoning hearing board is going to have to deal with this really and not us. But um, I, I have a couple of thoughts about this. Um, first, I don't see that it really involves any land use or subdivision questions that would normally implicate the role of the Planning Commission. And secondly, I know that Jack uh, uh, Larkin, uh, Ward 1 uh, Commissioner, is having a residence meeting on Tuesday, no, I'm sorry, on uh, September 16th, 2020 at 6.30 p.m. So I'm comfortable that at least the residents of Ward, Ward 1 and any, any others who want to attend will, will have their voices heard. And he's doing it specifically for that reason. And um, I would also assume that uh, they will know about the, the zoning hearing uh, board meeting on September the 22nd. Uh, on, at, it's, it's a number 3076 on their, on their agenda and it's going to be heard on that day. So they'll have an opportunity to have their voices heard there. So my feeling is that we're, if we don't act on this thing now, we're never going to see it again. I don't know that it's really important for us to do a lot with this because as I've said, I don't really see any, anything that implicates the role of the Planning Commission. So my suggestion is that we move to forward this on to the zoning hearing board without comment because it doesn't really implicate the role of the planning commission. And there's a lot of zoning issues. Don't get me wrong. From the way I read this thing over, there's a lot of zoning issues. But I don't think our brief as members of the planning commission is to comment on zoning issues unless somehow those zoning issues involve the land use and subdivision matters and as I understand it they're keeping the same footprint as far as all this is concerned and it's any comments 
And Jack, you're right, just to chime in, nothing's yeah. changing from a development standpoint, it's just interior renovations. And there's a question about the parking and so on, but I mean, I really think that should be left to the zoning hearing board. Yeah, I'm, I don't have any comment. Steve, you're on mute. So if this goes through, as you said, so what, what I'll prepare in the memo is uh, if uh, move, move forward, move this forward to the zoning hearing board without comment, uh, it does not implicate the role of the planning commission for this project. Does that sound about I right? I need to sign anything because if you, if you need me to sign anything, I can just send it over to me. I can scan it, send it right back. What I'll do is uh, I'll write something up to the board, copy everybody. If you're okay with it, then I'll shoot it to Kevin so he has it for ZHB. All right, so do I hear a motion to, uh, to uh, forward this matter to the zoning hearing board uh, in the, with the language Steve uh, just proposed. Second, anybody? I second. second. How about you? Second it. Okay. No? Okay. Yes, I'll second it. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Sounds like that's unanimous again. And I already called for public comment before. It's item number uh, five on the agenda, but I don't think we have any members of the public in attendance. So, no, mem no members of the public are on this Zoom call. Um, we would get emails, and I have not received any. Steve, have you? No, I'm just looking right now. I have not. Okay. Okay, please make a note of that on the minutes, will you please? Absolutely. Uh, I'm not aware of any old business or any new business that we have to deal with. Is anybody aware of any old business or new business? No, I just have one recommendation, Mr. Chairman. If all meetings uh, were this length, I think everybody would applaud. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel sorry for Nick because apparently he put a coat and tie on for this. <laughs> so, all right, uh, we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy. Looks like we're doing a pretty good job so far. So let's keep it up. And I also happen to like the idea and anybody else who wants to chime in can chime in now or in emails. That doing it through Zoom is I think still a pretty good idea unless things change a lot uh, between now and October. So talking to the manager, uh, Mr. Lord, it's really gonna be up to each uh, advisory committee to determine how they, if they wanna go in-person meetings or on Zoom. So you just let us know and we'll, if you wanna go Zoom next month, we'll just continue this, it's not a problem. Okay, why don't you put that in, in the minutes too? I mean, we adjourn, but eh, you know, fix something. So they know that they, and I'll make sure I follow up with, with an email to everybody to let, to let Pat uh, know. Sounds good. Thank you, sir.